What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I finally got my hands on a set of rev limiter gauges for the Miata. I'm going to be walking you guys through the complete installation and showing you guys what they look like. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so getting into the install portion of this video, the first thing you're gonna do here is remove the plastic cover from the front of the gauges. And this next step you're gonna see me do right here is optional, but the new gauges that I ordered actually have a white tack face. And since the stock needles are white, I'm actually gonna be painting the tack needle orange to help it stand out more. And I think it's gonna look really cool. So scraping that white paint off and applying the orange paint the paint I'm using here is just a model car paint and it the first coat it did go on pretty watery it seemed pretty thin but just let it dry and do two or three good coats and it will build up and it ended up looking really good. So if you are not painting your needles you can go ahead and skip that step and once you get your plastic cover off the next thing you're going to want to do is remove all of your stock needles using the provided pry tools and just slip them underneath the needle and use the screws as a point to pry on. That way you're not getting on the gauge face itself or anything like that and they should pop off pretty easily. And after that, you're gonna to wanna to take a Phillips head screwdriver, remove all of the stock faces. The main thing I learned during this project was to just take your time and be careful. All of the parts in here are pretty small and fragile, but just take your time and you'll be okay. So now that all of the stock faces are removed, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping to put in the new ones. Something important to note here is the length of the screws. The speedometer screws are those long ones. All the other screws are gonna be the same length. Now here, depending on the lighting option that you chose, this is where you're gonna to want to change out your bulbs. I went with the baked in green lighting and I'm gonna be using the white LED bulbs. So I'm just gonna change those out real quick. Now up next, because the rev limiter gauges eliminate the airbag light and headlight up light on the tachometer, we're going to have to make some slight modifications to the cluster. So here we're going to pop out that little screen where the lights would go. And I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and reinstall all the bulbs real quick while I'm here. But now we're going to have to cut out this partition. That way the light will light up the tack evenly. If you don't do this, the bottom of your tack will not be lit up. So very important that you do do this. I'm going to link RevLimiter's tutorial in the description below so you can reference that along with this video. There's a lot of good photos in there that will help you on the details of this project. But now we are ready to put the new gauge faces in. At this point, I would get all of your screws and go ahead and put these rubber O-rings on them before you install anything. And then if you haven't already, take your stock faces off of the plastic carriers that they ride on. And then you're going to take your new faces and put them on the plastic carriers and install into the cluster. I did all of the smaller gauges first and I found that they were a little bit more difficult than the bigger ones. You pretty much have to hold the face and the plastic carrier at the same time as you try and start the screws screws once you get the screw started it will hold it but until you get your screw started there's nothing really to hold it the tack and speedometer are easier because you can take the plastic carrier and go ahead and install in the cluster it will sit there and then you can drop the faces on there's a locating tab at the top that you will locate it with and it will just hang there as you start the screws also at this time don't forget to install the stopper on the oil pressure gauge and the tack before installing these two faces Once you reach this point, it's time to reinstall the cluster back in the car without the plastic front cover. It's time to place the needles back on in the correct positions and I will explain this process after this quick b-roll break.
just had to stop and appreciate those gauges real quick they look so good but as far as setting the needles this is where i highly recommend you reference rev limiters how to the process that i did was put on the speedometer first the speedometer you can actually put on with the gauges outside of the car it is self-centering so put it on at zero, give it a little flick up to 20 miles per hour. Do this a couple times as a test, it should drop back down to zero. If it does not, pull it off and try again. After doing the speedometer needle, the second needle I did was the oil pressure needle. I went downstairs, did a cold start on the car, and put it at right about 60 since that's usually where mine is at at a cold start and that should be pretty close pretty accurate it seems to be from the driving i've done so far next thing i did was drive to the gas station and filled up the tank completely and then drove back home before installing any other needles at this point the car had a full tank of gas and was also fully warmed up so i would put on the gas gauge at the full position and put on the coolant needle at the typical warmed up position whatever that is for your car mine is about 11 30 not quite 12 o'clock at this point like i said since the car is warmed up i went ahead and put on the tack needle at about 850 rpms and it seems to have worked out pretty good for me the tack is probably the trickiest one to do i've seen a few different ways that you can do it people talk about before you remove the tack needle at all in the first place see what rpm you're at in a, at a certain speed in a certain gear also if you have a standalone ecu you can just plug in your laptop and see what the rpms are reading and then set your needle to that so hopefully this video could help if you're installing your own set of rev limiter gauges in your car i'm super stoked to have these done it's something that i've always wanted i think they look really good i'm really happy with how they came out really glad i decided to customize the tack i've always liked the look of the different face and I think the black and white along with the white and black with the orange needle just looks really good. But anyways, that is going to do it for this week's video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to keep up to date. As always, thank you for watching. Have an awesome week and we will see you in the next one.